it's not working. I know, not everybody puts upper cabinets in a schoolie and I thought it was just a personal preference thing. But now that I'm watching Mike build this, I think it's because it's so difficult. Oh my gosh, you're so brave just pouring it right on. But it's really thin, so it penetrates. It penetrates really well into the wood. It brings out all the grain and stuff while protecting it. And then we'll put on like more coats of it or something. It'll be really, really nice. Okay. This looks good. Let's, Second coat, awesome. I'm gonna start staining the walls. Okay, look at the difference from left to right. Very subtle. Yes, but much nicer. I like that it instantly appears more finished, but without being darker in here. I don't want it to be dark and mm -hmm. closed in feeling in here. That's a very light stain. I know, I love it. And you know, and it's called cherry. Right. You would think that cherry would look very red, and it doesn't at all. It's just not yellow, and that's what I love about it. <laughs> it looks like I'm just getting it wet or something, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because it just barely changes it a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna have to let it breathe in here a little bit. What'd you just do? No, open oh, the just door and go in the back. Bong! Um. Begin working. Okay. You will know it is time to do the next step when you hear this sound. <laughs> I'll be the supervisor. Next task. Hustle, Mr. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Next. 83 inches. There. Okay. That was harder than I thought it was gonna be. You want to do your holding thing again? Alright, I got to lock and load. Roll it, rip it, and punch it! Nice. Okay, that's permanent now. Flying low under the Like a night hawk stealth plane, you are hiding out in the shadows, keeping from the light of day. Nobody should ever have to live that way. Here to hear the difference too, though. You can? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come from here and look. Oh, there's not. Oh, my God. Yeah. And then. Massive difference. Yeah, and you can tell from up here too that the back is down closer to the countertop and the front is up higher from the countertop. What's the measure over there? Like three sixteenths 
shy and three sixteenths shy. You're perfectly level right now. Okay. Don't budge. Okay. Oops. Look at how cute it looks though. Yes. What a cute little cubby. It's time to stand up straight and step into the light. It's time once and for all to have equal rights. Come along now. Hey now, it's okay now. You don't have to hide from the world no more. Hey now, it's okay now. You How cool is that? My honey has AC in the day, lights at night. Keep working. Keep working. How exciting this is. Okay, uh, no matter. Well, let's see. 19 and uh, 16. 19 and a 16? Yeah, and this is below 19. So it needs a tip to the back more. Come down in the back. Don't let go. This needs to go up a little bit. Actually, it's really, um, it was really good just on its own. It's 18 and three quarters. That's lifting higher than 18. Oh, no, right, right there. If you don't touch well, it, well, if, if I don't touch it, then it's not attached to the ceiling. So I'm going to go ahead and attach it to the ceiling, I think. So 19, oh, no, this one's 19. Now measure this one over here. cabinets right here and then another one right here right equal size or yeah because two would just be dumb huh too big yeah and this is probably gonna be dishes yeah because right? food's all gonna be in the pantry probably see now it's so perfect oh my god I could do stuff like this to it I love it my honey I know you're hot and sweaty, but I just want to get love on you right now. <laughs> I'm getting there. I suppose it's picture worthy. Bring it together. I like it so much. And you know what? I think it makes it one bit claustrophobic in here. No. It does not feel closed in at all. I mean, I know there's only half so far, but just looking at this half of the kitchen, it does not feel closed in. One of the uh, really cool things that we discovered when we were um, doing our searches on the internet was this guy. I wish I could link to him because it was really cool. And he was in a van and the sink arrangement he had was inspiring. And it wasn't that it was particularly a beautiful build or anything. It's that what he had thought of prior to installing everything. And that was having a rack right here above the sink that you could wash 
and dry right here and it dripped down in the sink saving all your sink space here so you don't have to have a rubber mat or uh, you know some kind of drying rack on your counter taking up space and so we came up with our own version of that uh, to put in between here and hence why we left this big open space right here so check it out so I just took this little piece of maple here and just put it up here as a backsplash this area here is gonna be filled in differently so we're not gonna worry about that right now and then we'll get you won't see those screws right there because the uh, this cross beam going in right now so let's do that Ooh. All right, let's just test fit it real fast. I'm just happy with that, actually. Very happy with that. So now we got this cool rack right here where we can put dishes or thumbs ups or notification bells, like kind of angled notification bells. And then, of course, lest, lest we forget subscribe buttons, that's what this is for. So I hope you enjoyed it. So I left this back just like three quarters of an inch right here. Three quarters of an inch. So that we could put in a decorative front piece here. And that way we can leave like some of our dishes up here when we're driving and stuff. Probably not, but in the event we did, we don't want them just having a freeway to the ground here, just open lips. So having something up like this, we could put our plates in and like some glasses or something and while they're drying if we decide to drive away for some reason forget um they'll be contained in here or at least we'll probably hear them before they crash on the ground so i was literally losing sleep over this last night worrying about these things pulling off of the uh of the wall i have two big tech screws up here holding holding this two by four to the ceiling and then i have pocket three pocket screws going in holding this and two big long screws behind there and I just still didn't feel that was enough and I just wanted to give this a little bit more strength so I'm just adding another uh, strong place for this to uh, to hold into the ceiling into a rib and then screw into the side panel and I think that'll do it I think that'll hold it but I just needed to do something because I just wasn't satisfied. Man, that's right into a rivet. All right. Jerk. And that should provide a great deal of extra strength into this countertop here, or this upper cabinet. Another really cool thing about this install here is that this isn't screwed down at all. However, it is captured in the back, as you can see right here. It slips back there, and then this thing won't fall out. And that way, that way, if, uh, if down the line it gets rusty and gross, we bounce back over to Walmart, we can buy another one of these, hacksaw this to length and set it right back in, and we have a brand new dish rack, and, and it just didn't take any time at all. I'm putting on a thick coat of mineral oil right now. And I'm literally just putting it on and uh, thick and wet and just letting it uh, soak into the this oak wood here. More butyl tape. More butyl tape. Clips are just supposed to snap in.
Is that supposed to be on the outside? What happened? Whoa. I like the sound of this one. Okay. Can't wait till we make this door like a regular door. Here, here. Gotta be like a third bigger. Eighteen, almost three quarters. He's come down in the front, up in the back. A little, just a little. Ooh, really close. Nineteen and an eighth. Nineteen and a quarter. So it needs to go up on which side? This one is nineteen and an eighth. It needs to go down in the back. Down in the back, up in the front. Yeah. I need you to hold this thing up. No, no. I need okay. you to come in the middle and push up and to the up into the corner. Here, I'll hold. Here. Text screws? Uh, I do have a lot of different kind of screws in this build. Yeah. Give me a good one. Oh, is that a caca? Crash! That's used. Can you give me another one first? Yep. That's a buff, 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 buff counter. Cabinet. I like it a lot, baby. I like it a lot. Me too. There. Finally got it. Yeah. Dude, this is amazing looking. I know! <laughs> first time I've got a chance to step back step and look, back and look, look at, at your work. Yeah. It is absolutely stunning. I was really concerned that it was going to close this thing in. Not even close, not it's so at huge. Not all, not at all. And I, I'm still firmly believe that a part of what makes it still feel open is how high we raise these. I think you're I right. I think if they were down to this level, it would feel darker and boxed in. I over think you're right. I, <laughs> you know, I, I just, at, in the beginning, I was like, yeah, whatever. But it's, now it's, it's you're, not, you're now right. You see it, huh? It opened it up a yeah. lot. Okay. I'm going to give you a tiny tour of our tiny kitchen as it stands right now. We bought two butcher block countertops from Ikea. They were each eight feet long, so we cut off the extra and used one of it to make our cutting board. And the other piece from the other slide of the counter will be used as the tabletop in our dinette. I have plenty of drawer space here under the cutting board and also over here. We have this convenient slide out for a tall kitchen trash. We actually purchased our sink used. We bought it at the Habitat for Humanity Restore. You can buy used sinks there for 20 bucks all day long. This one was actually $30 because it was the only one I've ever seen that had the rounded back to the basin, which I love the way it looks, but also it's big enough for me to put my biggest baking pan down completely in the bottom of the sink if I need to soak them in water and be more conservative with the amount of water I use. And when I'm doing the dishes, I can simply take my wet dishes out and stack them up here. It drips directly back into the sink as my dishes dry and I can reuse them again from the rack or put them away when I'm finished. 
it's just resting on the front wood right now and there will be a front piece when this is completely finished but the rack will still be able to be removed and replaced if need be this will be our pantry over here and each shelf will have its own slide out so that you can see and reach everything at the back this of course is our piratey hobbit dutch door which not only divides the kitchen and living room space from the bedroom bathroom space but it's also a specific need of mine because i have severe insomnia and although i do take medication for it if our cat comes into the bedroom at night it wakes me up and i don't get back to sleep so this door is specifically so i can keep the bottom closed because our cat knows if a door is closed and she won't jump over it she knows she's not to come in but but with the top half open, it will still allow for cool air or warm air to pass from the front and back and keep the temperature the way we want it. We chose an RV refrigerator for a couple of reasons, mostly because we will be boondocking almost all the time and living on solar power, which means we'll have a battery bank of 12 volt batteries that run the appliances like this. So it's much more energy efficient to run an RV 12 volt refrigerator on a solar powered system. Side note, I do have to say it would have been much easier to build around regular household appliance or apartment size appliances because they have nice straight sides, which means your countertops would just end where the appliance begins. And in our case, it was a little more, um, I wouldn't say complicated, but just a little more difficulty in building the refrigerator into its own cabinet. If you watched our videos, you saw that the trim wasn't fitting sometimes, but we're super happy with the way it turned out. And we have latching doors, so we don't have to worry about doors coming open when we go around a corner and all of our groceries spilling out and rolling across the floor. We don't have to worry about installing baby locks. They stay latched and stay closed because they were made to be in a moving vehicle. One last thing about this RV refrigerator is that it is sold without the front door panels because there are several options for colors and types of door panel. We bought the black door panels because we already had our black stove. So this is how they come in the mail and they have the peel off protection on them. We're not putting them on yet because we're not done with construction, but you can see it's a really glossy, shiny black, which at first I thought, oh no, that's like not my style it's so contemporary and modern looking and i'm more of like this earth child soul gypsy kind of girl so i didn't think i was gonna like this but when we cleaned off the oven that had been hiding in our garage the oven door is super shiny glossy black too and so they end up looking great together i think i'm going to be happy with it after all when we finally get them on so we just stumbled across this oven on craigslist for 50 bucks and just kind of jumped on it because it was another thing to check mark off the list but one of the things i love about it is that it is big enough to fit pretty good sized bakeware and in case you were wondering about this narrow space that doesn't seem like it would be of much use, it happens to hide a couple of folding tables we can pull out for extra space if somebody comes over or we're working on a project. And then they tuck back away inside. Oh yeah, and we will be putting a stained glass window in the door. We haven't even decided on a design yet. So if you have any good suggestions or cool ideas, put them in the comments below. And while you're at it, if you like this video, do this. If you love this video, do this. And if you want to see what happens next on Bussy McBuzzface, be sure to do this. <laughs>